So. Was muss ich denn jetzt hier noch machen? Ich noch mal mit ihr reden, ne? It looks like this woman is single, but she has feelings for someone. Donald. Betty and Donald. She is looking so intensely at this photo. Yeah. But is it really a sister that she is studying in this manner? They made the perfect couple, am I correct? Yes, in a way. She was pretty and he... Well? He's a bright man, with a promising career ahead of him. He would have made Betty a good husband. He was always attentive and generous. Oh, a true gentleman. I hear a note of envy in your voice. You must have heard wrong. You must have heard wrong. Donald in Betty hört fragen, ob Donald eifersüchtig war. Eifersüchtig? So. You have not mentioned Donald's jealousy. There's nothing to say. I am not your enemy, Mademoiselle Bernard. And you are not my friend either, Mr. Poirot, sir. Yes, but your lies are not helping Mr. Fraser, or you for that matter. I know that Fraser was jealous, but I wonder why you feel the need to protect him. Protect him? I hope you're not suggesting... That you are Fraser's accomplice? There is nothing to suggest that, at least not yet. It would appear that your sister's murder is the second in a series that we have to stop as quickly as possible. The first was in Andover, and the same as your sister, the murderer sent me a letter informing me that a crime would be committed in that town. Now can I count on your honesty? Yes, you have my confidence, Mr. Poirot. Don is a quiet and sensitive young man, slightly reserved too, and as is often the case with reserved people, when he flew into a temper, he completely lost control. He could be so violent. Betty was frightened. And when was this? The first time was about a year ago. But they rowed more recently. Donald found out that Betty had lied to him. She said she was going out with a girlfriend, but she went out for dinner with a married man. It was an awful scene. She told him that until they were married, she was free to go with whoever she pleased. Donald turned quite pale and started shaking and kept saying, One day, one day, Baby, we'll well, be old. he'd commit murder. Also, auch er hat der Frau den Tod angekündigt, genau wie der andere. Donald und Betty, so heißen ja auch die zwei bei Mad Men, ne? Wirklich hätte umbringen können, fragen, ob sie fürchtet, dass Donald verdächtig ist. Do you think that is what happened? No, Mr. Poirot, I don't believe that. You yourself said he may be a recidivist madman. Don loved Betty with all his heart. I can't imagine for one instant that he would hurt her. Very good, Mademoiselle Barnard. Thank you for your help. Fraser is at the Ginger Cat. The police haven't spoken to him, but they want to. Très bien, Hastings. Let's see him now. Au revoir, Mademoiselle. My deepest condolences to your parents. Of course, Mr. Poirot. And don't be too hard on Don. He's more fragile than he looks. If you say so. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Oh, ich wollte doch schnell zu Don. Ah, die zwei haben sich ja um... Ähm... Spuren im Hals, Betty hat ihn da bitte. Hä? Aufs Flipper. 
Betty hat an diesem Abend wahrscheinlich eine Verabredung mit jemandem. Betty ging neben Donald mit anderen Männern aus. Die Betty hat Donald angelungen, weil sie eine Frau mit einem anderen Mann hatte. Betty verführt, bevor sie am Strand. Let us now try and get our brand cells to work. Was versteckt sie hinter Meng Bernard zu halten? Das Opfer war eine hübsche Frau. Glaube ja nicht. Meng verehrt ihre Schwester. Was hatte Megan Bella ein Motiv, um ihre Schwester zu ermorden? You've seen Fraser, Hastings. What is your feeling? He's a big chap. Fragile isn't exactly the word that springs to mind. I talked to his landlady before seeing him. She went to bed at 11. Fraser wasn't home yet. Die letzten Worte bleiben unausgesprochen. Ich hole auf. How do you do, Mr. Fraser? You heard your paro. Und hier nicht Mr. Hester Ober. said you wanted to speak to me. Yes. I know that it may not be at the right time, but I would like to ask you a few questions. Doch. This man looks suspicious. Donald Fraser is in a terrible state. As if he hadn't slept all night. And he's drinking white horse. Leave me alone. Tell me that it's a mistake. That Betty isn't dead. Sadly, your lady friend has been murdered, Mr. Fraser. Oh, Betty, if only you'd listened. If she had listened to you, she would still be alive. Should I take that to be a confession? With that sort of thinking, you must send a lot of innocent men to prison. Under different circumstances, I might even find you amusing, sir. It's no time for amusement, Mr. Fraser. It is time to find your fiance's killer. Did you know what her plans were for <coughs> the evening? She said she was having dinner with her sister. Yet, Megan only returned to Bexhill this morning, Mr. Fraser. I didn't know. Right. 
May I ask you what you were doing yesterday evening? I spent the evening working. Your colleagues can confirm this? No. I often take work home with me. Therefore, you have no alibi, Mr. Fraser. That's right. But that doesn't make me a murderer, Mr. Poirot. I would like you to leave now, please. Ah, I knew I'd find you here, Poirot. I thought the victim's young man was here. Yes, he's all yours, Chief Inspector. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Donald ein Motiv für den Mord an Betty. Donald, Betty ging häufig aus. Hm. Es ist viel nicht auf was sie hinaus wollen. Betty ging häufig aus. Und hat ein Motiv um Betty zum Mondei versucht. Dann hat ein Alibi. Nö. <lacht> ein Strand sein und Betty ermorden können. Dann hat ein Motiv für alle Morde. Nö. Fraser doesn't have an alibi and he's extremely jealous. You are very skilled at summing up. And yet you haven't asked Jap to arrest him. It is too soon. But I agree, without the letters announcing the crimes, Fraser would already be behind bars. Bon, I think we have enough elements. Let's reconstruct the events at the scene of the crime. I can't imagine how the murderer wasn't seen, though. Surely she must have struggled. Let us try and imagine the scene. Ah, the conclusion. Reconstruction. The killer and the victim are walking on the beach. Miss Betty has a bag, a belt around her waist, and carries her shoes in her hand. Both of them walk slowly to aunt number five. Ändern Betty? Wie ändern Betty? Both of them walk slowly to hut number six. Miss Betty enters the hut. She leaves without her belongings. Then she hides a code. den Code für die Hütte da drauf zu schreiben. Gürtel ausziehen. Hm. They keep walking. Then she removes a belt. The murderer moves behind her and then attacks her by surprise. The body falls, lifeless, on the sand. Everything appears to match the crime scene, mon cher Hastings. That is exactly what happened. Weiß es sich trotzdem gewährt hat. Also eigentlich müssen da irgendwelche Spuren sein, oder? Kampf irgendwie. Naja, vielleicht ist im Sand sieht man es wahrscheinlich nicht so. Ein bisschen mehr Wühlspuren oder so. Without the ABC, we might have suspected halt Mr. Asher and Mr. Fraser. But by signing his crimes, the murderer is making sure he's accused. In a way, it is very generous of him. Generous? The murderer seduced Betty in order to lure her to the beach and kill her. Indeed, the young woman was certainly careless, but not stupid enough to follow a stranger. What are you planning to do, Poirot? Return to London, mon cher Hastings. Oh, 
Auf nach London. Plus 15 Hero-Punkte. Okay. Jap has decided to reveal details to the press. The alphabet murder is now famous. It is not a bad idea. The more people who know, the greater our chances of finding out something of interest. Poirot, I have a bad feeling. Poor Mr. Poirot, not so good at these little criminal matters as you thought yourself, are you? Rather past your prime, perhaps. Let us see if you can do any better this time. This time, it's an easy one. Churston on the 30th. Do try and do something about it. It's a bit dull having it all my own way, you know. Good hunting. Ever yours, ABC. Good hunting. Did you hear that, Poirot? The murderer seems to be taking it all as a game, a challenge. He will strike on 30th in Churston. We must warn Scotland Yard. No time to lose. We must prepare our suitcases for Churston. Mon Dieu, it is already 10 o'clock. I will call Scotland Yard immediately. Hastings photo album. He is very proud of his bag. Bexilancy, Sussex, population twenty four thousand seven hundred and three. Flicker, July 30, 1935. ABC affair. No progress. The alphabet murderer is still on the run. Ever since the police found the connection between the Bexhill and Endover affairs, the inquiry has barely progressed. In this issue, we are publishing provocative letters sent by the killer to Hercule Poirot. Unfortunately, they have not yet helped to find him. Daily Flicker. July the 26, 1935. The Bexil Horror. Young men strangled on the beach. Horror. Killer struck at midnight. It is not a good. It's not a good. It's not a good. Okay. Then it's not a good. Du, 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 du. Hmm. Miss Haste, Hastings tore the envelope. White Horse Mansions. Feuerwehrs. Hat 
No, not White House Mansion and White House Court. Try White House Mansions. Hä? Eh? White Haven. Ah. Not known at White Horse Mansion and White Horse Court. Try White Haven Mansion. Poor Mr. Poirot. Not so good at this little criminal matter. Uh, okay, alert. It is not the right time. I lock my revolver in this drawer. I've not used it in a very long time. Some cool hair. It is not a good. Stintendi. Verstehe ich nicht. Äh, ich soll Briefe vergleichen. Pour ja. Mr. Poirot. von ABC, nee. Das ist Brief C. Hä? Hier sind doch deine Zeitung abgedruckt, oder nicht? Buch. Es kann dann die halt anrufen im Brief mit. Soll ich sie da anrufen? Soll gar nicht hin. Äh, wo ist denn ein Telefon? Ich hab kein Telefon. Am Schreibtisch wahrscheinlich, ne? Da. Sieht man aber auch sehr schlecht. Hallo, Jap! We received a new letter from ABC in the 10 o'clock post. Where and when? In Cheston. Today. Today? I'll inform the population immediately. I'll check the train times. Call me back. It is not a good time. Den Scheiß noch mal machen oder was? Wo sind diese Briefe denn? 
Vergleichen, vergleichen, vergleich doch mal. Ja, hier. Die wir jetzt nicht auf den Boden werfen müssen. Ja, los. Und er sucht nicht. Ja wohl. Also. Hastings, what you are doing is an absolute disaster. That is no way to pack suitcases. Heavens, we must hurry. We have to get to Churston before the murder. Hastings, order and method are always necessary, regardless of the circumstances. Okay, okay. I'll let you pack them. Ich will das sehen. Ist das jetzt ein Minigame? Or the same. It really is a disgrace to leave your belongings in such a mess. Voila! It only took a minute. Poirot, you were right! I've just consulted the ABC guide. There's no hurry. The next train doesn't leave till 11.45. You see, there is no need to hurry. We will not be in Cherston until tomorrow morning. After the murder. But why has the murderer warned us so late? It's not what he usually does. Did he do it on purpose? Very good question, Hastings. We should also compare the letter we have just received with the other two. Although I have very little doubt about what we will find. Schneeflocke. Das ist eine Errungenschaft. So, ja, dann jetzt hier Schreibtisch oder was. Ja, also. Let us compare this new letter with the second one. Die ich halt auch direkt machen kann. So, dann die. Let us examine this more closely. Das Certain characters in the two letters may have similar defense. Yes, this. Right. Let's yes, the I characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other similar defects to confirm my theory. Yes, the A appears to be quite unusual. Right. Let us compare the That's right. The A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. I have to find some other sim. Es hat die gleichen Buchstaben einfach nochmal. Ja, das W ist immer noch nicht perfekt gedruckt. Right. Und das W ist immer noch nicht perfekt gedruckt. Of course, the W characters in the two letters do also. indeed have the same defects. My theory okay. was right. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Sehr gut, sehr gut. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Oh Gott. Was kommt nun? Warum kommt die Benachte so spät? Ja, hat Angst langsam, ne? The letter should have arrived in time. The postmark shows that it was sent three days ago. However, our man made a mistake in the address, which explains the delay. All the same, the post office took their time correcting the error. Come on, Poirot. Your address is not quite as well known as that of Scotland Yard. Poirot, the telephone. It must be Jap. It uh, must be Jap. <laughs> 